Welcome back to our Champions League coverage. Jamie's just having a good old stretch, just feeling uncomfortable, are you? You still don't hear, never mind, forget it. Kate Abdo, Thierry Henry, Jamie Carrigan, Micah Richards. Hopefully Jamie will be able to hear us uh, at some point throughout this segment. I guess talk to me about kind of earlier on in this game. Did you at least think that AC Milan might be in with a shout here? Yeah, I did, Kate, to be honest. I thought the game might have been a little bit different. Obviously, when you're going, you know, 2-0 down, it's always going to be difficult. But before, you know, with Liao coming back, maybe they could hit the Milan on, on that counter-attack. But Dumfries was excellent. Damian was always in the right position. Uh, Barella was covering in that position too. And they just... Inter Milan just played the game so well. In terms of game management, you know, they know they could take the game towards them. And if they came out, they could go on the counter-attack. But they didn't need to do that today. They just was a better team. And the difference was, you know, when Inter Milan want to make a change, you can bring on Lukaku. And Lukaku was a difference. In, in the game, just added that little bit of energy, a little bit of power, a little bit of know-how in, in this game today. And if you look at both of the teams going forward, in the Milan squad got them through these two legs. Mm. I mean, Micah mentions Lukaku is obviously a, a friend of yours and somebody that you worked with at the Belgian national team, your best friend, quote unquote. Ed and Dzeko also through to the Champions League final. What does it feel like at this point in time when you know, OK, we're going, we're going to the biggest game in club football? Look, you have to celebrate it first and foremost because it doesn't happen often. Obviously, beating your rival, going to the final, it didn't happen to, to Inter Milan for a very long time. Then after, in the morning, how can we beat the team that we are going to see tomorrow that's going to go through. Who's going to go through? Manchester City or Real Madrid? That's a different ball game because nobody wants to go to a final and lose it. Trust me, it is not funny as much as the stadium is enjoying it and if everyone is bouncing, when you lose a final, it's not funny. So enjoy it tonight. It's great. You got the right to, to love to your you know so-called Milan friends or cousin or whatever but then you have to win the final because for me that's how it is. If you go to the final, it's to win it. I am so enjoying watching Jamie try and lip read everybody here. <laughs> is this, Jamie, is this where the pressure really begins? Is this where the pressure really starts now for Inter Milan? Yes, certainly won't, not right away. Listen, they've got to enjoy tonight and the next couple of days. Still a long way to the Champions League final. They have Serie A games to come as well. But as I said, they wouldn't have believed at the start of the competition they would be in the final. They'd be big underdogs if it's Manchester City or Real Madrid. So the pressure's off in the final. But as I said, They've got quality there. We've seen it against AC Milan. We've seen it with the, the group that they were in as well. Oh, yeah, the kids are getting involved now. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's party time here, and rightly so. You remember this night for the rest of the careers. You don't get a trophy for it, but... You never, you never, you never... You never... You never... You never... You never... Get involved. No, oh, hey, Micah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I might do the hamstring. <laughs> <laughs> How happy were you for Lukaku? How happy was I? Look, he he was involved more often than not towards the end of the season, obviously, right now, because they were rotating and resting Lautaro Martinez and Dzeko. Having said that, he got the opportunity to play. He gave two assists the other day coming on. He scored two goals away from home. He gave an assist again the other day. He's giving an assist tonight, so he's doing what he's supposed to do to make this team win a game whatever, if he's starting or having an impact. Now, is he a starter in that team? Is he going to start in the final? Well, time will tell. But I'm happy for him because, especially after what happened after the World Cup, the season after Chelsea, not starting with Inter. Fans were kind of not too sure about him staying or not, but he's answering his own way. Does he play 90 minutes all the time right now? Not at the minute but is being effective for his team. And that's the most important thing. Uh, as great as this moment is for Inter Milan, it's obviously a very uncomfortable moment for AC Milan. Going into this game, Thierry, you said they have to get through to the final, otherwise this is disastrous. If you think about the span of what, is it seven days that they've had now? So they played on, on Wednesday in the first leg, they lost 2-0, they then go to Spezia away from home, a game they're absolutely expected to win in Serie A, they lose 2-0 and then they come in here tonight and they drop out of the Champions League to their rivals. If you go back to the, to, the, to the beginning, we said that Inter is a better squad. Why? Because every time Milan did a turn up, like was changing their, their, their starters in the league, they couldn't beat Cremonese here, they couldn't beat Spezia. And it's a, it's, it's a 
very difficult game to play because you you kind of getting rid of of your you know your emotion or trying to go through in the league to try to concentrate on this and at the end you're out of the top four and you're not in the final of the Champions League so we all know that Milan struggles to open the team up when when the team plays low we saw it against Cremonese we saw it against Spezia they love to play on the counter well tonight Inter played, played them as they should have played them but for Milan now it's going to be a tough end of the season and I'm I'm worried for the coach you know, people were, were upset with Maldini, which I don't understand how, but they were. Mm. And now it's going to be even more trouble tomorrow. Trust me. Is he back? I'm back. I'm hey, back in a big way. Hey. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> we, we're going to show you uh, some scenes that we've got coming in from outside the ground. Obviously, the celebration starting in the city of Milan. I'm sure they will go on through the night in the city of Milan as well. I feel like my shop. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> Wait, what? Sparklers on the champagne bottle, so we'll that later. Where are you taking us? Where are we going to go tonight, Thierry? <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> well, you think Thierry wants to tell everybody where he's going to be? 